Right, good evening folks, how are we all doing? I'm back with yet another cigar review. Um, I had a couple more yesterday. Beautiful weather we've had, it's still been the same today. I have been sweating my balearics off, so I've come in the humidor just to cool down a little bit. It's a little bit cooler, but damn is it humid in here. Well, it's 68% humidity, as, as, as I want, basically. So, what I'm going to be reviewing, uh, this is going to be quite a disjointed review, actually. Um, normally in the summer, I walk home with a cigar. Uh, I've been lazy this year and haven't done it, so I'm going to be doing it today. Uh, I ain't going to stop and give you thirds and half reviews. I'm going to basically do the introduction. I'm going to have a, a nice slow walk home with a nice bottle of beer. Possibly as long as the police don't see me drinking on the streets. Um, and then I will give you my review when I get back. Um, so, what I'm going to be smoking today is the Nub Maduro 464T. Uh, it's basically a 4x64 torpedo. Um, I will say one thing about, um, this is the only nub I've noticed it on, sort of very, very, kind of a strong aroma of ammonia from the foot, um, it's a reasonably solid cigar, with quite a nice dark Brazilian wrapper on it, so uh, first things first, debander, so nobody's got a clue what it is, anybody who knows cigars will know this is a nub, um, paperwork here I can dump my cap down on. One thing I don't like about torpedoes is the cutter I use at work has a backstop on it, so I tend to have to do several cuts. So we'll talk about the construction. Um, typical Brazilian wrapper, um, there's some oils to this. It's not the most oily Brazilian cigar, Maduro cigar I've ever seen, but it does have a lovely sheen to it. Um, it's got a rather Connecticut type textured, um, textured finish. It's quite veiny, but I will say the veins are very, very small. You probably can't see them too well. Um, it's fairly smooth, but I say there are a lot of thin veins, but they don't seem to protrude out too much. Um, the filler's a nice mixture of light, light and dark tobaccos. Um, the smell from it's got that lovely, lovely dark Brazilian tobacco smell on the wrapper. Kind of um, a little bit leathery. A little bit dusty. There's a bit of, uh, I wouldn't say quite chocolate, but that's because I know what it's going to. It's going to have a chocolatey taste, but it does have a nice smell. But from the foot, it smells like a cheap, a cheap cigar with ammonia mixed with chocolate. Like I say I think I've just got this preconception of it. it's going to be quite chocolatey. So the pre-light draw, oh perfect. I had a uh, Nub 460 Cameroon yesterday. And that was a, smoked like a like a like a dream. Um, I've had that for quite a while. That Cameroon I had yesterday. So the pre-light, cocoa, lots and lots of cocoa. Some slight wood to it, not a great deal. But I'm looking forward to this. One of the new additions of cigars I've taken on at Gauntlet. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to finish getting myself ready and have a slow walk home. So, depending on how far through I've got, uh, you may catch me at the end of this cigar, but if not, you may catch me at the start of the next one. I'm in a cigar evening tonight. Kim's at work on nights all week. The weather's nice, the garden is beckoning. So I just need to get myself a few beers in, sit in the garden and enjoy myself. So. I'll catch up with you all later in a bit. Bye. Right, so I'm back. Uh, and I've still got just shy of halfway to go. Um, it's a long smoke, but then again. It's what you expect from a cigar this size. It's not big, as many of you know, with nubs, especially the 64 gauges. You've pretty much got the same amount of tobacco as a Churchill, if not a double Corona. So, I mean, I can get through the 358s in about 50 minutes, I think. You know, about two minutes off um, Sam Leckier's time, and on the box of 48 minutes. But anyway, back to the flavour profile. So the first half, um, a little bit disappointed. There's something about it I don't quite like. It's got a really cloyy sort of texture to it. Uh, there's some notes of leather, um, very sweet when you light it, I almost thought it was almost caramelised, um, some lovely nutty textures to it, so it's almost like a, 
like a sweetened nut, uh, chestnut tea, I guess, in a sense. Um, overwhelmingly sweet. The finish is very earthy, it's like leathery, nutty, woody. It's a nice cigar. Um, not the nicest Maduro I've ever had. Um, the ammonia smell I mentioned when I introduced the cigar, that is still coming through. It's not very prominent, but it's there. Um, I suppose having access to so many Cubans, any ammonia tasting cigars, I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, nutty. It's kind of got roasted edge to it as well. Um, I did have a few burn issues. I don't know if you're quite going to be able to see this. There's kind of the dark patch. It's nice rings apart from there. It tracked and canoed a lot. Um, <clears throat> took half the cigar to level itself back out. But other than that, it's burnt pretty well. I'm assuming these are reasonably ripe. Um, I don't know if I'll leave her a, a skimping on a... Not skimping. I don't know if I'll leave her a rushing to produce these. The end's not getting too tarry, but no, it's a, it's a nice smoke. Um, not one of my favourite Maduro cigars, not one of my favourite nubs either. I'm still a big fan of the Habano, or Sun Grown as it's known in the UK. Um, I do, I got it wrong earlier, it wasn't the uh, Connecticut I smoked yesterday, it was the Cameroon. That was very, very tasty. Um, I've had that for three or four years, um, or two or three years, about three years we'll say. And that was gorgeous. Um, I didn't enjoy them the first time round, but I thoroughly enjoyed that yesterday. But I'm not overly impressed with the number Duro. Um, I say it's just the, the filler has got this ammonia smell and it comes through in the taste as well. But other than that, it's all your typical uh, Nicaraguan Maduro sort of flavours, nothing special. I'm going to say something very obvious here. It's not a very dynamic smoke. It shouldn't be. It's a nub. It should stay fairly constant. Um, there are a few... I guess the finish is hints of coffee. Like bitter coffee to it. Not overly strong. You just get the occasional little hint of coffee in there. But... I don't know. Like I say. Okay. Nothing special. But uh, I shall be back when I finish this to let you know how it ends. But... If it's a nub sticking to what it's supposed to be, uh, it should be exactly the same as I've just said. So I'll speak to you. Right, so. We're pretty much done. Not much not much variation, which is good, because obviously that's the purpose of the nub, to hit that sweet spot and uh, stay there. So, still very roasted, nutty flavours, sweetness to it. Um... When the ash fell, um, I got an almost a caramelised flavour, which I did get when I lit it, until the ash had built. Um, it's a little bit stronger than you actually think it is. Um, start getting a bit at the back of the throat, burly throat, as I refer it to, with pipe tobaccos. Um, still a fairly consistent medium strength. But then again, like I say, my um, ability to judge the strength of cigars has changed somewhat over the years. Um... Being a pipe tobacco blender and experimenting with high ratios of Perique and Kentucky and dark fire cured Virginias and things like that. Somewhat changed my opinion. Through the nose, you get more of the coffee, roasted coffee sort of notes I was talking about. But... I don't change my opinion from what I said previously. Um, it's an okay cigar. Kind of a typical Nicaraguan Maduro. Um, just doesn't... Has no bells, has no whistles. Um, a nice cigar if you wasn't paying attention to it. You want something with a bit of sweetness, but you want those earthy kind of... Sort of dry, leathery, nutty 
coffee like tones to it and some on the on some sweetness but after smoking the my father Cravantas Savantas or however you pronounce it the other day um I'm a little bit disappointed with it. I much prefer the Oliva Serie G Maduro um, to this. Um, I, to be honest, I think that they should have stuck with the same blend of tobacco that was in that Oliva, in the Oliva G Maduro. Um, it's very, very, very nice cigar that is. A little bit lighter than this, but there's something about the taste in that that I, I absolutely adore. As I say, this is kind of it's just a bit so-so, a bit like, just a bit, a bit bland and a bit ordinary. And I'm going to have to stop this now because for me to get a grip with my teeth, I'm actually stripping the wrapper off. You probably can't see that. In fact, you probably can just about see that. I'm actually pulling the wrapper off at the moment. There you go. So... This is done because if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up with the whole thing. There we go. The wrapper is coming off. So, number Duro. Nice. Nothing special. But if you like slightly, if you like sweet Nicaraguan, typical Nicaraguan Maduros, it's a nice smoke. Um, does what it's supposed to. Sticks to a fairly consistent flavour. Um, to me, I would have liked a little bit more pepper, lots more earth, less sweetness. But, but I like Maduro, but it's a Maduro. I, I like the sweetness from Maduro's, but this just needed a little bit of something else to to get me excited. And it doesn't really get me excited, but still a, an enjoyable cigar. Um, struggling to keep hold of this now, because the more I hold it, the more the wrapper's coming off. Let's see if I can't just tease this wrapper off with one hand without burning myself there we go wrapper gone and we're now on the binder so i'm gonna let this die with dignity and i'll put the wrapper with it for good measure so thank you ever so much for watching folks that was my starter um now i need to make some dinner and we're back with the main course so speak to you later folks goodbye